Hi friends, I'm Sarah Martin with The Contoured Chemist. If you're new here, welcome. You may not know I am a Lashify addict. I've been wearing them probably every day for over a year now. So if you aren't familiar with Lashify, check out some of my other beginner videos. I have linked them all in the description below. Today's video is my current go-to lash map and application. And so first off, I'm gonna show you how I remove this two week old set of lashes I've been wearing. So to see how I apply them to get that kind of wear, keep watching, check it out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. So first up, I get asked all the time how I remove them. And my method has changed since my first videos. If you go back and watch them, um, since then, Lashify has come up with a specific product just for removing them as I'm showing here. And now that's what I use. And I find it is the best way to remove your lashes if you ever plan on reusing them. So to check out how I clean them and reuse them, I have it all saved in my Instagram highlights. So check that out. So here I am using Lashify's Melt Away. All you do is simply shake it up saturate a cotton swab with the solution and then run it over the base of your lashes back and forth until you feel your lashes loosening enough that you can gently pull them away so this is to be sure you're not going to damage your natural lashes at all so then i'm always sure to remove all the bond from my lashes using the cotton swab and a clean spoolie because that is what's going to damage your net lashes if it's not all removed properly. So don't mind my no makeup, super red face. <laughs> I love to apply my lashes straight out of the shower so I know my lids are free from all oils. If you aren't doing it straight out of the shower, be sure to use either the pre-cleanse or a micellar water in order to remove any kind of oils that might be on your lids. So one issue I have is that my lashes are stick straight. So I curl them so that way when I apply my gossamers underneath my lash line, I don't have any lashes sticking through my Lashify lashes. Okay, I am good to go. So the first thing I always do is figure out which lashes to use in my lash map and I like to pull them out and lay them out so that I get a faster application. So in this lash map, I'm going to be using the E14, which when I first saw, I was like, wow, that is dramatic. I don't know if I'll ever wear it. And it is so good. You guys, it is my favorite lash now. So I'm going to use two E14s, two B12s, and then Last but not least, I always pull out a C10 for my inside corner because they're so delicate and wispy. I need those thin lashes there. So my bond of choice is the white whisper light. And I prefer the white with this tip in order to get the best application for my eyes. So one of the biggest keys for application is a light application of bond not getting too much but getting enough so that it applies easily so what I like to do is apply very lightly across the entire bash of base of my lashes and then I allow it to get tacky as I'm preparing my eye I have my gossamers laid out so I can easily grab using my control wand at the tip I pull up my lid and you want to apply it as close to the lash line. Sorry, not lash line, the water line without touching it. So I am starting with the E14 about three quarters across the width of my eye. Now, once I get that first gossamer in place, I always slightly overlap every corner going across the eye. So I go in with more whisper light, 
just in that area that's going to be overlapping to make sure I get a good bond between each gossamer cluster. And then I always wipe off my control wand in between each application because I place it and I fuse by squeezing that control wand and I make sure it's on there and in place before I go in to the next lash. So now I have two E14s on and I'm gonna be putting my next set, which are gonna be Bs, on that in between pretty much on both sides of those two E's. So I've added Whisper Light to both of those corners of my E's so that way when I place the B's on top of it, they have a really good, nice bond. I like to have a slightly shorter one on the outer corners and I'm always careful to leave a good millimeter or two from that outside corner so I don't get lift over time as I'm sleeping. I just simply repeat on the other side and I have my, do, my two B12s in place and now I can just repeat the process one last time to finish with that inner corner using my C10. Now this one, when I apply it, I angle the gossamer so that the lashes flutter towards the center of my face. I don't have a lot of natural lashes in my inside corner so that they won't adhere well if I try to apply like another cluster of lashes there. So I'm only able to put one more there and get to get the look I want and to have it hold through a weeks of a week of wear. I really this is the method that has worked best for me. Just a slight angle can really change the look and make your lashes look fuller. So then I come in with my wand using the wandum, okay, which is a cover that can go over your wand. Now, I find it gives me a better fuse. And since the wand doesn't fit my eyes perfectly, I reverse fuse, meaning I reverse the wand and I do it multiple times across each section until it feels secure. Now, my favorite way to seal and finish them is using glass. So this removes any stickiness that might be left over by the bond. It's completely clear, so it I feel like it keeps out um, eyeshadow really well and keeps the fuzzies out better, and it makes them waterproof. So be generous, give them a generous application, top and bottom, and you're all done. No stacking, just thick and full lashes, and these will last me easily a full week, if not longer. Thanks so much for wa watching.